When I was a child, my mom always told me, Angel, when you were born, all the angels came from heaven. Do you know why? Because you're special. On June 16, 2018, I launched my show, Have Faith, Let It Begin. I always wanted to change the world, share my personal testimony, share real-life stories and motivational topics to set out to go out and change the world. Join me each and every week, Monday through Friday at 6 a.m., because this is a show all about faith. My name is Angel, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hey, guess what? My name is Angel, and the microphone is actually with me. That's right. If you listened to yesterday's episode, it was cry- it was funny. The microphone wasn't even near me. I'm talking, and finally I realized it. We, uh, we don't edit on this show, so take, a, take the opportunity to look at the, different, uh, at the episode yesterday. It was entitled, Your Favorite Gift. Folks, today is a secondary part of that um, that episode, but this time we're going to label it a little different. We're going to title it Gifts from God. Um, I know that last Friday we did a gift from God, but now we're going to talk about the different types of gifts that you've been given each and every day and how we can use that to try and help change the world. Every single day that we wake up, we wake up knowing that we're about to get up and do different types of activities. Some of us are getting up to go to work. Some of us are enjoying the fact they wake up a little later than usual because it's their day off. Others wake up because maybe their kids have to go to a certain venue or a certain activity that they have to drop them off at. Maybe you wake up because you have to do a project or maybe today's the day that you're going to have your tree being put up or you're going to pick up your tree or cut down your own tree. When we wake up, we wake up with, a, with that feeling that things have to get done. Some of us may be waking up today because they've lost their job. Maybe that they're not feeling well. Maybe they've woken up and realized that someone is no longer with us. One of the hardest things that we're going to do in life is we're going to have all these different types of experiences. And we're all, at one point or another, going to wake up Sad, happy, excited, scared, fearful. But one thing is for sure. No matter how many times we wake up, you're not alone. God wakes up with you. God prepares your day for you. And even though it has already been written, God is still there to watch you put it to pass. The path that is laid out for each and every one of you has been declared and blessed by God himself. We, as individuals, as children of God, wake up to make that day happen. And even though there are times when you don't agree that maybe today may not be the day that the Lord has made, for you know this every single day every single hour every single second has been made by God you can't dispute that God is everywhere and God allows each and every one of us to have opportunity to wake up enjoy our day Fill our days with happiness, fill our days with excitement, and give us hope and confidence. So take it in, breathe in, and know that God is with you. There are so many people that I've been interacting with in the last couple of weeks as we here at Have Faith Let It Begin begin to restructure, rebrand a little bit, prepare ourselves for 2019. We do our very best to work with the new individuals so that they can help bring this show to a, to new heights, to new levels, to new wisdom. 
I am so honored that I have opportunities to speak with these individuals each and every day. I'm honored that I am able to uh, come together and, and try my best to work out these new arrangements with new individuals and hope that the plans that they have for us at our show will work. I'm a firm believer that, you know, as I walk here right now, my first time ever doing this show as I'm actually walking, um, that I believe that, you know, things happen for a reason. And even though we not, we're not able to understand them, we have to learn to accept them. You know, God doesn't make mistakes. I've said that millions of times. God does things for our, for us to be able to live life to the fullest. A lot of us today feel as if our treasures, our gifts that we have may not be something that we can actually give out to others. Let me give you an example of what I mean by that. Sometimes people believe that we are not talented enough to give others our treasures, our gifts, when in fact we're more than talented, we're more than capable. I'm a firm believer that when you go out into the world and you say to yourself, I'm going to have a good day. I'm going to not allow anyone to steal my joy. I'm going to go outside and I'm going to be ready to take on the world. And I'm going to do it with God's blessing. Those are the individuals that I believe have a better understanding, had a better feeling to know that God is with them. Now, don't get me wrong. I have had days where I've woken up I've asked God to be there with me, and I feel sometimes that when I'm going through my day and all of a sudden it's just like the worst day ever, I almost feel like, wow, did God hear me? Was he actually with me? Because I felt as if I had the worst day of my life. It happens. You know, I say it you know, over and over again that God is with you. God is with us. But sometimes, I'll be honest... It feels as if God hasn't heard our prayer. And he hears everything. He really does. But sometimes, maybe it's as if we have to scream out loud and say, God, are you there? I need help. If you feel like that sometimes, it's okay to pray that way. If you feel that God hasn't heard you, it's okay to Yell out to him and say, I need you. He listens. You know, the hardest thing is that, you know, we watch so many movies each and every day. And in the movies, they show us things like God just automatically appearing right after a prayer. You know, I believe in in some situations it could happen. But I also believe that there's always patience in prayer. And I think that God allows us time to be prepared for any and everything but it's in his time and mark my words when I tell you when it comes you'll know you'll know and that's really what I wanted to talk to you about today is allowing your abilities allowing your gifts your talents to show and that's what we always say about the actions speak louder than words content allow our actions to go out into the world and show people that good things do happen good people do exist and do it with a smile on your face and yes be prepared because there are days when we'll be challenged there will be days when we feel like we're not being heard Just remember, God is everywhere, God hears everything, and God will make it happen. Hope you have a great day, everyone. 
For Have Faith, Let It Begin. My name is Angel. Thank you for listening to another episode of Half Faith, Let It Begin. As the holiday season fast approaches, you're going to hear episodes of me recording live as my daughter in the background, Ariel, will probably cry. You'll hear background noises like phone calls and right on the cue, she's starting to cry. Don't worry, everybody. We're going to continue on like never before. And with Ariel in the background, knowing that the future, you're going to hear yourself crying like this, Mama. Yeah. Say hi to everybody out there. We just want to encourage each and every one of you to join us every single weekday, Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. Join me, Ariel, my family, and everyone as we continue our journey. For Half Faith, Let It Begin, my name is Angel. Say goodbye, Ariel. Say bye. And bye.